Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and I happen to be feeling a little bit sheepish today. So I apologize if you happen to be here earlier in the day and an episode of Zoo Crafting came out and it was dun 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 dun! The exact same as yesterday. Whoops. That was a total accident and it means that to my embarrassment there was an entire episode missing that now you guys will never be able to see. Which is so sad and so dramatic but I suppose it just means that we have gotten more done in the zoo than usual and I'm back I'm back and ready to show off some more of the amazing improvements we have made I am actually really starting to get um get a little bit of a hankering for throwing blocks down on the ground and building roofs over my head and my puppy's heads and that reminds me I need to get a new food bowl and put that down so that the puppies can have something to eat too but yeah so I'm really sorry about that guys I did not mean for that episode to come out out of order and I figured you know what I don't think anybody is going to want to watch an old episode like out of order so we're gonna have a beautiful day here in the safari zone of Zudesia Zoo continuing our fantastic work to turn this place into an actual zoo zone for so long it has been semi untouched wilderness and that's just not really going to be what we can do anymore um, I'm gonna ignore you little ant oh actually <gasps> I wonder get come here come here get my safari net get my, no come back oh do you have friends or those leaves Okay, come on. Nope. Get back in here. Did I catch him? Oh, come on. You're so tiny. You're so tiny. Come on, little guy. Did I get him? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he does have friends. I swear I saw another ant over here. Or was it a leaf? Oh my goodness. All right. So we've got an ant problem, but that's a cool thing to have because maybe we could actually look up. Ha, I caught him. <laughs> maybe now we can look up a different ant species that would happen to be in Africa and we could build a little ant exhibit. Oh, that'd be so cool. But we are building exhibits and we are getting work done. And as those of you guys who have been around know, building a zoo not only requires having the animals in the animal exhibits, but also making paths, educational centers, little zookeeper stations to store our supplies, building all sorts of spots for the NPCs and zookeepers to roam around and providing lots and lots of room for the guests to roam. So we'll go check in on how the guests are doing and I will show you guys the new bridge I built in just a minute. But I want to show off the um, the very nice zookeeper station that I have completed. I'm very, very proud. Since it has been quite a while since the last season and so this is one of the first things I have built this season in zoo crafting, and I'm so proud of it, you guys. I am so tickled. This is our Safari Zone Information Station. And this is actually not only going to be an information station, but it is going to be a zookeeper um, little shed too, where we store all sorts of supplies. And I'm actually trying to think if I could move some things around and even build like a, a door or maybe like some sort of curtain or something so that maybe there would be a little bit more privacy so that people oh there's another ant I want to catch him I want to catch him okay you guys that's your um that's your pixel biologist uh tasked for today is helping me research what a really cool species that you guys think would interest our guest here in Zudesia of African ant would be. And actually, I do remember that there are African ants that will defend acacia trees. Do you guys remember learning that last season? When we have all of these acacia trees all over the zoo, which I think are really adorable. I mean, look at this one. Look at this little diagonal line. I want to kind of name it Diana. Dang it. Don't name the trees, Siri. Then you won't be able to cut them down. You know better than this. Uh, oh, well, well, Diana, welcome. I'm going to give you a little hug. Maybe one day somebody will adopt you. We're going to be planting donator trees in the future anyway, like little donor trees like they have in real life zoos uh, pretty soon too. So that'll be fun. So Diana, I love you. I'll, 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 I'll take care of you. Don't worry. But anyway, acacia trees in Africa, one of the cool facts we learned about them last season is that there are ants who will actually take up residence inside of the tree or on the tree and they will defend it from the herbivores and other creatures who try to come up to the tree and nibble on its leaves. I thought that was really cool. So maybe we should gather up these ants that we just caught and we should make them their own little exhibit and they could live inside or on top of an acacia tree and we could kind of rope it off and have a little information sign that would explain that the ants will claim a tree and they will defend its leaves uh, from predators who like come to eat the tree. And a tree's predators would of course be like our giraffes and other herbivores. Uh, I don't really think a jaguar or a lion is really going to care <laughs> or a hyena. Oh, we should have hyenas. Oh gosh, I wonder if there's like a model we could use for hyenas. 
hmm, I'm gonna have to put some thought into that. But um, I don't really think those meat-eating predators would be much of a threat to the acacia tree, but these ants actually, if I remember correctly, will harvest from the tree. So it's kind of like their own farm turf and everybody else needs to leave. So they'll viciously attack any of the overly curious giraffes or elephants and things like that who will come and try to eat off of the tree. So maybe that's what we'll do with the ants or maybe you guys will find another species of awesome African ant that I don't even know about yet that we could turn into a fun little exhibit. So, all right, time to put some ants in my pockets, which is uh, always a risky thing to do, but it should be okay. And also I need to eat something really quickly. Do I still have any more of those baked beans or did I finish all of them? Oh, I think I ate all of them. I have a lot of apples. I think those are actually supposed to be for the giraffes though. So let's see, what else do I have in my pockets as far as food goes? I have a bell pepper. Once I had to eat raw bell pepper and nothing but raw bell pepper at a wedding reception because I'm vegan and nothing else was vegan and I never want to do that again. So I have vowed to never just eat raw bell pepper. So moving on from that, we do have some soybeans, eggplant, uh, some mushrooms. We do have a lot of mushrooms. I mean, the other useful thing about a zookeeper station is maybe tranquilizer darts. Fascinating. Huh, <laughs> we might have something new to play with pretty soon. But the other cool thing about a zookeeper station is that we could at least like make some grilled mushrooms or something or just whip up a little bit of food. Uh, especially when we don't even have like a, okay, I could make some mushroom stew. Let's make some, maybe let's make some mushroom stew or some grilled mushrooms really quickly. Do I have any stone? I sure do. And we don't have any restaurants yet or else we would go ahead. What do you mean? I have made a furnace before. Thank you very much. Um, maybe over in this corner. There we go. And then let me toss in. I need something to burn. Gosh, see what I mean? Those basics of just having a furnace and then some wood to be able to burn. And this is rubber wood, so we can actually turn it into rubber. I'm pretty sure. No, it drops rubber. So, all right. Rubber wood, in you go, and then mushrooms, in you go. And I'm gonna have some roasted mushrooms to keep me out of the rain. But yeah, oh, the, just the basics of having like a furnace and somewhere to store stuff, that also comes in with the whole building a zoo from scratch with your own bare hands. Philosophy of zoo crafting, Tommy. Though, oh, I guess that's kind of offensive to say right in front of the carpenter that you're considering to hire. Sorry about that, Tommy. I didn't mean it like that. All right, let me see. But we don't have any restaurants or anything over here yet. And that's another thing we need to think about. That's actually something I was thinking we might work on today is looking over here and clearing a little bit more of a path. I think I might, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead. No more thinking I might. I'm going to, I'm going to think with my fist basically by grabbing my tools and shoving everything out of the way and just, ooh, we have a light shards. Getting to work and you never know what kind of treasures you'll stumble on when you do that. Oh, I'm so excited about the shards. They're so pretty! Look at them! They're just glorious! And we have a zookeeper station for me to store all of this other random stuff now too. Uh, and this trash! I wonder if I would be able to compost this trash. That would be useful. Alright, let's see. And I need to get Glorious Grafter to help me clear away this pile of things. I guess I could use the shears to clear away some of the leaves, but I'm more in the mood just to work right now. I can't think off the top of my head anybody who would need to eat the leaves, but I always need leaves for more decoration. All right, come on, come on. And then I'll shove this back in here just to help fill it in. Ooh, and I've got so much switchgrass that we could kind of, I should probably save some of this switchgrass so we could use it as decoration. Oh, like if we lined it up nice and neat and even. Ooh, what if we lined it up like the whole way? Oh, look how much more professional that could make things look. Trimming away the excess grass here. Oh, this is so satisfying. There we go. All right, trimming all that away, stepping back. Um, let's throw the carrot seeds on the ground. Pick up that switch grass. Gosh, there's just so much to work with. And then boom, ah, oh, that's so lovely. Just look at it. We can continue adding switch grass. Ooh, and what about these little guys? What are you again, my friend? I cannot recall off the top of my head. Ooh, he, he doubled. I love it when they do that. It is the devil's shoestring. So we could start maybe mixing that together a little bit. I'm really not a fan of like completely symmetrical landscaping. I like things to look a little organic, but that looks really nice. It really is helpful. Hey, you are just a sprout. Good job, little guy. You just grew up. That's awesome. 
But it really is kind of helpful just to clear away some of the grass, even though I love it, and make the zoo look a little bit more professional. Wonderful, wonderful. Like I said, working with my own two hands. Um, but I was thinking, since we need to add in some restaurants, maybe putting in that gigantic donut stand where we have like donuts the size of an entire dinner plate uh, up there. That was really fun because you can make donuts and that is something where we would make a bunch of donuts to be able to stock the stand. And you guys could help me come up with some really great names for those donuts. And I know a lot of people are really excited about Zoo Kitchen possibly coming back so that we could work on building and stocking those little restaurants and shops and kiosks and stands that we would get set up. So that would be fun too. But I am thinking like if we climb up the side of this cliff, if we maybe make like a little switchback path, we could have little breaks and actually, maybe it would be nice if you had like a vista. Oh, look at all this vegetable garden stuff. Huh, maybe I should have another little mini vegetable garden down by our zookeeper station. I am a little bit obsessed about having those because it's fun to have gardens everywhere. Oh gosh, and the rain just stops in midair. That's fine. Entering a new climate zone. Totally normal. Oh, look at all that switchgrass. So pretty. But what if we come up here and we make like a vista overlook where we can clear away uh, some of the dirt, try not to mess with the trees too much, build a nice little fencing, maybe a deck, and then you can kind of have a really nice view of the jungle and you can have a really nice view of the start of the safari zone from up here. And then as you walk over, like, oh, look, a lovely donut shop or you can continue along the path and it'd be like oh look a little garden or continue on and it'd be like oh look there's a, a little waterfall decorative waterfall right over here um and we would leave those bones there because i do like to leave the fossils in to be kind of natural and holy moly is that another pink sheep wow we have got so many naturally spawning pink sheep here it's quite amazing but yeah that's kind of my plan for what we could do with the restaurants and i'm thinking a donut shop but maybe what about bananas? What can we do with bananas? Um, hmm. Let's see. We can have a crate of bananas. We can make a banana splits, which would be really awesome and delicious. Banana nut bread, a smoothie shop, maybe yogurts. So I don't know, guys. If it was going to be like an African safari area, I'm kind of thinking like a salad bar and a donut stand, but maybe something with bananas or chocolate dipped bananas or chocolate dipped fruit in general. So I want I want your guys' ideas for what kind of little food spots or other guest attractions we should put over here too and maybe any miniature exhibits we could do with smaller animals like a special lizard or maybe a really small uh, different reptile or mammal that belongs in Africa. I'm gonna have to give that some thought or even maybe we can do a tiny little like fish exhibit or a frog exhibit or something right here. In fact that would be kind of eye-catching wouldn't it? Hmm hmm ideas ideas you guys are very good at coming up with these ideas but all right enough rambling let's come in <laughs> lily tate my pockets are so full of all of this random stuff i don't even know how to feed myself right now all right let's throw the dirt in here because i don't need the dirt grass is always useful medium grass is useful shrubs are always useful holy moly we've got a lot of shrubs um let's see i can take the apples over to the giraffes in just a bit look at all this trash that everybody is just throwing throwing at me and at least we have a few donations from the guest all right let's see lily tate i think that we need to work on setting up this uh this zookeeper station a little bit better carpenter tommy i'm gonna come over on your side if i looked in here would i be inspired by the confidence of how this zoo was run tommy not just yet thank you thank you he even shook his head at me all right so if we have somebody standing over here and they can tell you all about things, we probably need to jazz this place up a little more. Make it look kind of nicer on the inside. I'm still debating, should people even be able to see that far into the inside? But I think it could be kind of useful for them. So what if we grab this fencing? What if I do something even just decorative like this? Does that help? That actually does help because it kind of makes a division between the back of the zookeeper station and this side. And do I have extra leaves? I do have some extra birch leaves. So what if I do something like this? Oh, birch leaves are not the same color as the oak leaves. Is that going to mess everything up? It does look a little bit different. So let's collect those. 
you think I would be paying closer attention to what kind of leaves I've been using. All right, do I have oak leaves? I have two. I only have two left after all the work we've been doing. So I need to go collect some oak leaves. See, I knew I should have collected those leaves instead of just cut it down. Remember, I was like, oh, but I can't think of any any reason we'd use this, but I guess we would use them as decorations, tee hee. And then I just destroyed them. Waste not, want not, my friends. That's the lesson of the day. All right, let's cut down this. There we go. All right. Come here, come here, little block. Gotcha. All right, birch, birch leaves. <laughs> no, I wanted oak leaves. <laughs> That's okay. At least I have some oak leaves. So then, oak leaves across the top. There we go. Let's check how it looks now. Carpenter Tommy, I'm not gonna lie. It has been a very long time since I've had to be worried about subtle little details like this. Uh. I don't know about this. We better build those walls strong so the lions don't get me. Now, that is a good... Did I call him Tommy? Oh my gosh, that's kind of a warrior cat's crossover. That's a little funny. But, um, yeah, the lions. I know I want to have the lion exhibit on this side because this is going to be our safari zone. But I still think that maybe I'd build it, like, mm, over here, perhaps. Because this is going to be the big open area where they all roam. Or maybe should... Like, this is kind of a canyon, savannah plateau area. So maybe the lions could go down here. Or maybe they could go over here after all. We're going to have to figure it out. Let's focus on the animals that we're trying to work with. Like rhinos and elephants and ostriches. And then we'll get to the others as time goes on. Let's see. Do I have any more oak leaves? I got to go get some. Lily Tate, let me eat some mushrooms with you really quickly. Oh, look at all these grilled mushrooms. <laughs> Yay! I can survive in the wild, even if I don't have donut shops to be able to supply me with food. At least we're able to make use and see waste, not want not. We just recycled that beautiful mushroom I had to cut down and made it into some delicious grilled mushrooms. Perfect. All right, li Lily? Lily, jeez! You scared me! Oh gosh, I had no idea where she just suddenly vanished off to. Come on, Lily girl. Don't worry, I won't make you stay in there any longer. All right, so we need to find some oak leaves then. Are you oak leaves? Yes, these are oak leaves. So we can gather these up. I'm gonna use them as decoration. There we go, there we go. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, is that like a double layered acacia sapling? <gasps> Lovely. I, I really, I, you know, you could admire a good tree like Diana over there. All right, let's see. And I need to clean up the wood. There we go. Got to clean up after ourselves, especially when we're trying to make this area look more professional. And let's see, just these little touches. I just want to spend another minute or two, whoops, fiddling with them. Watch out, Lily. I don't want to accidentally trim your fur with this. There we go. Let me see. Let me see what this would look like. Huh. All right. All right. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Trying to trying to figure out where we're going here. Okay, maybe too far down. I do need to have some usable space for other things. All right, pardon me, Carpenter Tommy. Mm, let's see, maybe one right there, and then maybe one right here and here. Hmm. It's kind of interesting, but I always think leaves are interesting. But at the same time, I don't know if it inspires the confidence I was going for. And now you can't see like the fencing that's behind it. So maybe leaves aren't always the answer. <sighs> it's a sad world when that's the case. All right, let me jump back in. Huh, maybe a few leaves, like some leaves, a little bit of leaves to the left, a little bit of leaves to the right. Let's try this. Maybe just like a couple leaves. There we go. Enough leaves to give you the idea of what we're going on, what we're doing here. Um. And then what about, what about one more right here and one more right here? Hmm. Hmm. Right here? Hmm. Hmm. I like it. And then you come in. Yeah, that does, that, that works well because then it's like you've got two layers of things. Okay. So we'll leave that. We, <laughs> we'll leave that maybe. Haha. <laughs> oh, Sarah, you're so bad. All right. And then I think we might even move over some of this like this furniture move the chest over a little bit i want to have maybe a double not even maybe i want to have a double row of chest that's why i made this so let's see maybe chest right here chest right there hmm here and here so we're gonna have to remove you my friend 
because having a, a bunch of chests to be able to store everything in is what this area is for. So let's go ahead and make ourselves some wood planks. Lots and lots of beautiful jungle wood. We're gonna make a double line of chest and they're gonna go, let's see, gonna scooch you over there. Chest, 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 there we go. Yay, and we've got more storage, fantastic. So that's where this is gonna go. And then I need to move. All right, Lily Tate. This is going to be really painfully messy for just a second, I think. But I just want to get this over with. Oh, jeez. It's everywhere, guys. Oh, no. Where are the chest? I planned this poorly. I need the chest, please. All right. Don't worry. Nobody panic. We just have 50 shrubs and, like, a bunch of switch grass and acacia wood on the ground. At least the itty-bitty little, um... Ah, there they go. At least the ants are still safe in my pockets. So yeah, like I said, no, no need to worry. All right, we'll start throwing some of these in. Ooh, if I stand like this, I think I can just... <laughs> Yay! It works! Look at this. Able to put everything away. Oh, and there's my big make beans. I wondered where they went. All right, we'll keep going, keep going, keep going. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, not bad. And then we can come on over, put the crafting station down. And then the chests are where I originally planned for them to be. And we might be able to put like maybe a little statue or some sort of plant over here so that we spruce up the, um, the information station. This already looks a lot better. And then at the back of the information station, we may have a few chests that would have supplies for the animals. They would have first aid kits. I'm trying to think, uh, oh, maybe we could even set it up so like there's a macaw or something, like the, the station's parrot that could be back here and yell at people. And that would be interesting. You look in and you see like an animal in the background. That would be really cool. Maybe we'll go get a parrot and see if we can convince it to stay in here. Uh, after we have somebody to take care of it, of course. But what do you guys think about that? That'd be fun. Bring over one of our tamed parrots and then it could have like a really nice day just staying here and getting a good view of everything. All right, and then we're doing really good on building this little station by hand, no less. Isn't it so exciting? Back to the classic Minecraftian goodness. And now I need to make a compost bin. So we have somewhere to put all of the extra extra stuff we keep collecting. So sticks and slabs, sticks and slabs, and then we'll, we'll be back on the waste not want not philosophy. So there's a bunch of sticks. Now I need slabs. Can you mix the two types and create a compost bin? Oh, I'm so excited. Does anybody else get as excited as I do over compost bins? No, probably not, but that's okay. And we're gonna tuck it right back here at the back of the station. And what happens now is when you throw in all of the extra plant matter you can't really use, uh, unfortunately these cases fruits don't count, then they will slowly but surely transform themselves. Let me grab some little bits of birch leaves for instance to show you guys. But these compost bins are a great example of how we're going to set up recycling stations all over the zoo. We already have a few of them over in the temperate forest area, come on. Come on, birch leaves. I know you wanna. <laughs> and they will so slowly but surely work their way to composting. It doesn't exactly happen super quickly. And then become um, enriched soil that kind of works like bone meal that we can put down on the ground. So that would be really useful. Are you gonna show us the enriched soil? It makes sense because real life composting takes forever. I tried it, but I always tended to grow bugs instead of compost. It takes a little bit of science and a little bit of skill to do. So hats off to you guys if you've managed a successful compost bin. Wow, zoo crafting. Look at us go. Watching leaves turn into compost. <laughs> it's educational, my friends. Educational indeed. Are we going to be lucky enough? Are we going to be able to get... Dun, 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 dun. Almost. It doesn't work every time. Ta da! There we go! Some enriched soil, and look, you can see it working because compost bins are actually very hot when they are active. So then, Lily, thank you so much. Ooh, what's this? This is pretty. Ladoradite ore. Let's collect that in just a second. Ooh, and look at that! Yes, more grass! Grass that can then be turned into food for the giraffes, for example, and help us to gather up that beautiful zookeeper experience. Ah, experience points, I should say. Uh, so that's really nifty, but that's why the compost bins are so useful. Everything's full circle, kind of like in nature. 
everything tends to come and loop right about, like, right back around on itself. And I really love that about our world. All right, so things we don't really need include all of these, like, extra seeds. Uh, I don't really need to grow any rosemary right now, but I hesitate to throw out the herb seeds, actually. They're a little hard to get your hands on. Oh, and some sage seeds. Then there's, like, birch saplings, oak saplings. Probably don't need those. Probably don't need the birch at the very least. And we can come over and add them in. And then instead of have them clutter up our inventory or clutter up our station, we can put them into the compost bin and turn them into usable and rich soil, which is so much fun. <sighs> of course, I'm probably the only person who thinks a compost bin is super fun, but still. All right. And actually, this is really pretty. So I want to see if I can dig some of this up. What do you think, little girl? How much is it, Lily? How much, how much of there is it? Let's see. Oh, Lily! Look, there's a whole little... Wow, Lily girl! There's like a whole little vein of it! This is beautiful! We should use this to decorate around the safari zone entrance. Nice! Alright. Collect up all this, and then I'll just go ahead and return the soil back to its original place, more or less. Alright, watch out, Lily! Alright, hopefully nothing will decide that it wanted to, um pop up out of the ground there and I need a little bit of the dirt from ta -da, our storage oh that's so nifty it makes such a big difference when you have somewhere just to drop resources and go collect them again all right good so now we have new chest we have compost bins oh I got some more amylite shards yes I'm gonna keep them up here because I really love them all right amylite shards and seeds I'll move up here and then we'll organize things as time goes on and a lot of you guys are actually <laughs> amazingly excited about the idea of organizational live streams. So when I can catch my breath at some point, hopefully in the future, I will probably be doing at least one or two live streams a month in zoo crafting where we'll organize things, sort things, and of course some of them where we'll be working on just building and exploring, especially exploring. <gasps> yes, we have to do some exploring live streams. That'd be so much fun. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's see if we have this pretty, pretty ore. Does it make a nice little decorative touch right there? Almost. Almost. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with it. What can you do with it? Some of these- Wow! You can burn it? What? Look how bright it is! That's so pretty! What do you do with the burnt one? You can turn it into blocks that you can turn into slabs or, or plates or stairs or pillars or brown pieces that you turn into brown tiles. Good grief! You are one dynamic little thing. I'm very impressed by it. But it's very pretty, so I was thinking maybe I could make it into a, uh, ooh, I wonder, because I think that there are indeed the carpenter's flower pot. We could try making into a carpenter's flower pot. Yes, oh my gosh. Okay, I wasn't planning on, like, doing this, but you know what? You gotta go with the flow sometimes. Okay, carpenter's flower pot, carpenter's flower pot. I need to make some carpenter's blocks to make that happen. All right, there we go. I need another one. Where's my, <laughs> I need to collect more wood. Uh, all right, some acacia wood, there we go. And then sticks, wonderful, wonderful. More of the carpenter's blocks, good, good. And we're gonna turn them into some carpenter's flower pots. And what about right over here to add to that little ambiance of making this area look super interesting? Then what if, we, ooh, tiger's eye ore, nice. What if we grab that ore now? And then now we've got two little pots with that ore. I wonder if the burnt version of it would look better. Hmm, that would definitely pop a little bit more, I think. But I kind of like this version, so let's try this out. Oops, wrong chest. Then we'll throw this in here. And now we can actually grab some dirt. And what about switchgrass? Let's grab some switchgrass. And what about... I don't think you can put a grass garden in there. What about a shrub? I don't think you can put a shrub in there, but we'll try. Now we've filled the pots with dirt. Oh, it's so cute! Oh my gosh, they're awesome! Plants make everything better! I knew that we'd be able to get some plants. Tate, don't climb in the plant, boy. Oh my gosh, you're so adorable. Alright, so I'm gonna feed the puppies, because maybe- Tate, 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 get off the plant! Tate, come on! We're making things look professional and nice! Tate, hold still! Tate, Tate, no, Tate! What are you doing? This is supposed to be a private entrance, Tate. Okay, good boy. Stay there. 
Oh my gosh. Oh no, and I am down to my very last food for Lily. So we do have to go over to the um, doggy daycare next time and get Lily and Tate some treats. At least the guests have been donating wooden coins to me. So that's going to help feed my dogs. Uh, which reminds me, as soon as we have the resources, I do need to put down a dog bed and a dog food bowl in here too. Because we almost always have guard dogs with us anywhere in Zudesia. So let's come down, Lily. All right, I'm happy, you guys. I think this is coming along. We have Diana now. I'm going to have to make her a little sign. Maybe even build her a little fence so that everybody knows not to mess with Diana. She's a, she is now an official tree that we have adopted in, in the zoo. I can't go around naming every tree or else that would make things a little bit too hard on me, Lily. <laughs> and then we have got... Oh, yeah, the new bridge that I didn't even show you guys that I built. I was so excited about this. Doesn't it look nice? I finally decided to take up your guys' suggestion and actually finish the fencing around the lake just in case an elephant decides it wants to try to swim across. And I do need to fetch that cow and take it to a different area because it does not need to stay in the water inside of our safari zone, I think. The capybara are doing okay, but I don't want to leave them without observation for too long. So we probably want to make their little capybara lake before too much longer. But for now, we're still going to be working on setting up the safari zone. And I think the zookeeper station is coming along quite nicely. So next time, we'll have to head over to the doggy daycare and get the puppies some food. Check out what's going on in the Village of Light. And maybe we'll even get a chance to go visit the Nymphsia Garden, which sounds pretty amazing if you ask me. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget, I need a really cool ant species that we could have a small exhibit for here in the African Safari Zone. And then I will see you guys next time. So remember, everybody, stay curious. Bye, guys.